liquid chromatography mass spectrometry. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? So in the past we've talked quite a lot about different chromatographies, playlist linked in by the end of this video, in addition to a few techniques relating to mass spectrometry, such as Melditov. Now liquid chromatography, LC, is a technique used for separating compounds in a sample based on their affinity to some other molecule and can be paired with mass spectrometry, MS, for further analysis. In other words, liquid chromatography mass spectrometry or LCMS is the merging of these two different techniques into one superior one. Liquid chromatography is a good separation technique, especially for larger and non-volatile molecules such as proteins and complex peptides. Combining this with mass spectrometry is especially useful since we can use different types of column chemistries for broad sample coverage. Liquid chromatography is in fact so efficient that it has largely replaced gel electrophoresis for molecular separation. LC is also especially well suited for pairing with MS since it reduces ion suppression, which in turn would impede complete ionization needed for MS to be successful. An improved version of LC called high performance liquid chromatography also exists and has largely replaced regular liquid chromatography. The four main types of LC are partition chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, size exclusion chromatography, and affinity chromatography. And you can find all four of these chromatographies in my protein purification playlist linked by the end of this video. Also, if you're finding the video useful so far, please give it a quick like. In a nutshell, LC workflow is carried out in the following manner. A column contains a mobile phase as well as a stationary phase. The interaction between our sample and the stationary phase causes the different compounds in our sample to separate based on some unique difference in quality of these compounds such as size, charge or level of hydrophobicity. When the mobile phase flows out of the column, it passes through a detector which registers a certain physical or chemical property such as refractive index or light absorption. This is displayed as a signal or peak which corresponds to the amount of the component in the sample. The time at which the analyte is detected is called its RT and compounds of the sample can be confirmed through the comparison of their RT to known RTs. However, this is not very reliable and requires secondary confirmation. After this, the sample can move on to the mass spectrometer. The LC and the MS are coupled through an interface. The solvent is evaporated through the application of heat and analyte molecules are vaporized and ionized. This is crucial because the MS can only measure gas phase ions. Electrospray ionization ESI, and atmospheric pressure chemical ionization APCI, are the two most commonly used ionization methods in LC-MS analysis. Then the analyte ions are drawn into the mass spectrometer where they are subjected to electric fields and or magnetic fields. The flight paths of the ions are altered by varying the applied fields which ensures their separation from another on the basis of their mass to charge or m slash z values. Post separation the ions can be collected and detected by a variety of mass detectors, the most common one being the electron multiplier. The abundances of the ions measured during the analysis of sample by LCMS are plotted as a total ion chromatogram, TIC. The plot displays the peak intensities of the analyte ions versus their RT. Further, each point in the chromatogram is associated with the mass spectrum which depicts the ion abundances versus the measured MZ values. Now if you want to learn more about different chromatography techniques and protein purification in general, click the playlist shown on the screen now. But if you instead want to learn more about how you can interpret these mass spectrograms, I have a video about that which is also linked next to that one. So either one of those, please go ahead and click it, helps me out. Thank you so much. Again, leave a like. Until next time.